everyone, it's Lisa from the blog PharmaSanBoon.com and today I'm going to share something very exciting that is going on in our family. So perhaps you can tell by the title, today is my husband's last day of work. So where do I begin on this story? As many of you know, I started my blog, farmhouseonboon.com, around two and a half years ago at this point. I started it for a couple of reasons. One, I am passionate about creating a simple lifestyle here in our home, and I'm passionate about cooking and sewing and just creating, and I wanted a place to share that. But the second reason is that I wanted to create an income for our family. I went into it seriously, uh, knowing that that is something that I wanted to invest my time in with the goal of one day bringing my husband home from work. So this has been a goal that we've had almost since the beginning of marriage, just because we wanted so badly to do something together as a family, as a family business. 10 years ago, the way that we started preparing ourselves for this move that's finally happening today is we kept our expenses super low. So I shared about this a little bit in my debt-free story, and uh, I will link in the description below if you haven't seen it, but I talk about how we paid off our house and how we just keep our expenses extremely low. If you want more information on that story, you can check out that video. But I didn't actually start any kind of business that would be the one that would be successful enough for us to make this transition. I did a lot of things like I had some Etsy shops and I started a website where I sold cloth diapers. I bought them wholesale, sold them retail. I really didn't stick with anything and didn't really know what I was doing. And so a lot of those things I think of as kind of teaching me and how this online world works and they were good experiences, but I didn't use them to make any money. So after we got married in 2007, we bought our first home in 2008 and we had our first child in 2008. So all this time, my husband is working for the same place he's worked. In fact, he's worked there over 13 years as of right now. He's had the same job the entire time that I've known him. So we had, of course, four more children for a grand total of four. Five. In the end of 2015, I started a blog and I have worked very, very hard on that blog for over two years now. Um, I mentioned in a recent video how I spent the first year learning how to blog. And I want to clarify because I had some people email me saying, that they wanted to know more about that year where I was learning. When I say I spent the entire year learning, I mean I was blogging that whole time. I just didn't know what I was doing. So I was blogging and failing. It wasn't like I was just sitting back researching things because I think the best way to learn anything is to try it and trial and error and see what people resonate with and what they like and what does well. And so when I say I learned, I spent a year learning, I mean that I put terrible blog posts out, bad pictures, bad video. And then after that year of getting really familiar with my camera and learning how to shoot in manual and how to write and how to optimize posts for search engine optimization and how to use YouTube and Pinterest, I spent a good year, year and a half learning those things and I'm still learning today, but all the while, going for it. So I wanted to point that out there because if you're thinking about starting a blog, my recommendation is just to start chipping away at that goal right now and do it and do a bad job, but just learn and, you know, learn through experience and failure and, you know, upsides and downs. So back to my blogging journey, that was a little bit of a tangent. For the first year, I did not make any money at all on my blog. Um, it wasn't until about a year in that I started making a little bit of money, nothing to replace my husband's income at all. That excited me. Just to even make anything at all from it was an exciting thing because I never, I knew that you could make money blogging, but it seemed like something that was kind of more of something you hear about, not something that actually happens to you. And so that was super exciting. And I just, I think that even fueled my fire more to want to work even harder. And till to the point that I started YouTube about eight months ago and just started putting everything into it, working super, super hard to get content out on a regular basis. Obviously I have kids at home, so not no um, crazy amount of work on it, but every day chipping away at it, all while being here with my kids. 
So around a year ago now, on my husband's birthday, we sat down and we made a goal that by that August, which would have been August of 2017, we wanted to be in a spot where he could quit his job. We figured out what it was that we would need to be making per month to meet our expenses, and we decided that we would want to be in that spot by August of 2017. Well, as you can see, we did not make that goal. Uh, when August of 2017 rolled around, we just still weren't very comfortable. I was making quite a bit more. I was probably making three fourths of what he was making, but still not comfortable enough for him to leave his job. Fast forward a few more months, things continue to grow. And here we are in May of 2018. So about nine months after the original goal was set, we finally feel like the, we have a big enough savings and we have low enough bills that it is time to make the big leap over to self-employment. As you can see, the way that we prepared for this is by working really, really hard on an online side business in the time that we do have, which for me is has been a major sacrifice over the last couple of years. It's been really tough, but doable and rewarding. And then also to keep our expenses and bills super low so that when we finally got to this point, we don't feel like if things were to you know, decline for a little while, we would still be completely okay. So now why we even wanted this in the first place. It has always been a dream of mine to be able to be self-employed and to make money doing something that I love. And as you guys can probably tell, I love creating and I love sharing that with other people. This is a dream job to me that I can make any money at all on it is kind of blows my mind sometimes. And so, the reason we decided to have my husband quit, because of course we could keep making his income and this income, is that we think that now I'm gonna be able to have more time with his help. So he's gonna be home with me, helping me homeschool the kids. He could take them out for a few hours while I record videos. And so my hope is that I'm gonna be able to share more with you guys. So I'm hoping to get out more videos, possibly even double the amount. I'm thinking about maybe sharing more of our daily life, so more of our personal story. I'm thinking about maybe doing a weekly vlog. Um, a lot of you have asked about, you know, grocery hauls and homeschooling routines. And the truth is things have just been so crazy that I don't even feel like I can share that stuff. When I get home with my groceries, it's all I can do to get them out of the car and into the fridge and then cooking them for the meal. And so, a lot of that content that you guys have requested has been kind of overwhelming to me to even share, but I'm hoping to share some of that. As far as the homeschool routine, it's just been kind of crazy. I'm telling one kid to do this while I'm doing this with another kid and just there's, it's so chaotic that I don't feel like I could properly share how our homeschool day goes. So I'm hoping to share a lot of that. Obviously now it's about to be summer, so things are gonna be a little bit more flexible. And I'm so happy that we're gonna be able to transition into this new phase of our lives while it is summer because I feel like having some place for my husband and kids to go outside, all of that's gonna help us to transition. Maybe by this winter we'll have it all worked out and all the kinks worked out and figured out so that when he's just uh, here with the kids, we'll know kind of what the roles are and how we're gonna do this. We don't know how it's all gonna go. This is a whole new adventure. We're really, really excited about it. Let me know in the comments below what kind of things you wanna see me working on now that I'm gonna have more time to devote to this and better serve you all as my readers and viewers. I am super excited to work extra hard on my book that's gonna be coming out and just so many exciting things. But uh, let me know what direction you think we should go. Would you like to see more of our personal life, you know, family adventure days that we're gonna be going on more? Um, what would you like to see? I'd love to hear from you guys because I really do like to plan my content around what you tell me. Um, a lot of you have requested certain videos and I totally like to do them. And also, let me know if you wanna hear more about how you actually make money blogging. I've had some people contact me about that and so far I, don't, I haven't felt like maybe it fits in with what I'm doing here, but I could share some of that, put it in a separate playlist. If you're interested, you can watch it. If not, no big deal. So let me know that too because to me, this is living the dream. I cannot believe this is our life, that uh, my husband and I get to do life together and we get to make a living doing what we love. That's just incredible and I'm super excited and blessed and I cannot wait to share more of that story with you guys as it unfolds. And so I wanted to share with you this big step that 
is happening today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I don't usually get this personal here and share this much of my personal story, but sometimes it is just fun for me to do and exciting, especially on a day like today, that I feel like we have been working toward for the last 10 years of marriage. So yay, finally here. All right, guys, well, if you're new here, please hit that subscribe button. I make two new videos every week on food from scratch, doubt you're living in a handmade home, soon to be probably more than two. Thank you so much for stopping by the farmhouse.